yourself to think about the Celtics and all that's going to mean to you more so now that the is over and the game is finally here? I mean, that's the first game on the schedule. We're preparing with, uh, to play those guys today, uh, put in a game plan. So that's the, that's, the, that's the team that we're preparing for, that's the team that my focus is on right now. Fairly subdued answer considering the emotion you've spoken with in the past about being traded. To me? Yeah. What I say? Well, I don't have it in front of me, but you, you know, just suggested that that's, you were building something there and they moved on and you know, now yeah. that's the first thing. It was understood. Play. It was already understood. Like I said on my press conference, it was already understood when I talked to those guys. Um, the trade showed me the direction of the team and I was cool with it. Nothing more, nothing less. You shocked? I was, but now I'm not. Uh, I'm over it. I moved on. Um, I'm with a great group of guys right here who worked very, very hard. Each day we've been in practice, and um, it's been fun to be around. Um, of course, at the time I was shocked, but now that I've moved on, I'm out. Uh, so that's where I'm at with it, man. Their core now is so entirely different than what they had when you were there. So can you go into this game feeling like you know what they're going to do? And I'm, I'm sure Brad is a smart guy. He's going to tweak a few things. He's he's a very he's a coach that coaches to the strengths of his players. Uh, so things may change, uh, but at the same time, I think the base of the stuff they want to accomplish is going to be the same. Um, so I'm, of course we, like I said, we put in a great game plan with those guys. But uh, Brad is very intelligent. He's going to switch it up a little bit. But uh, for the most part, we know uh, what they want to accomplish on, on both ends of the court. This game's been scheduled. Guys known about it for, for months now, so have you been able to put stuff in throughout training camp to actually practice for Tuesday's game? I mean, uh, we put stuff in every day. I mean, obviously, you got to take one game at a time. We, we, we came across Boston. Boston is our opponent now. Each preseason game, we had a game plan with each team um, to accomplish, and right now it's Boston, a regular season game, so uh, we put stuff into a game plan for them this week. So. We take one game at a time with our game plan, obviously. Each team does, and right now it's Boston that matters. Is there a player on, on that side or, or coach or, or for office members that did, did you mean more to you to see on Tuesday than anybody else? The one that you may have been you know, close to school? Yeah, there's a few players over there I, I, I have a relationship with, obviously, but uh, younger players. Um, they'd be fun to go against them and bang up a little bit. And, have a good challenge uh, between the two. Uh, a little fun challenge between the two, but uh, it's only one goal at the end of the day, that's the end of the game, uh, no matter what. How do you gauge the Cavs' preparedness for this? Just because LeBron, you haven't been able to practice or play much with LeBron. You guys are all new in terms of playing with each other. Do you feel like you're ready for Tuesday? Well, yeah, I mean, we'll be once Tuesday arrive. We still have another day of preparation. Um, tomorrow and today was a good day of preparation so uh, come Tuesday we'll be ready. Get any sense that now that the game's so close that was the energy even better or yeah, could you tell any? I can tell the seriousness uh, from top to bottom. Um, but the preseason is uh, it's good to be back and get, get things going but right now it's a serious business um, obviously and I can tell that from the beginning of practice. Jay, you walked through the, the top offensive player defensively at Boston. Are you expecting that to be a similar role for you here? Uh, I mean, my role, they told me when I came over here, don't change it up anything, play my game. Uh, so I'm going to play the same way. Obviously, I've changed positions, um, but I've bounced between the two. With me and um, LeBron being able to play both uh, both, both positions. So my, my one thing I came over here with is not changing anything. I'm changing, playing the same style of basketball, same brand of basketball. So um, we'll see how it goes. Are you anticipating having to be physical this year, like play, just because of LeBron being this like, two small forward types in that front court? Just have uh, yeah, if you need to, I bring that regardless uh, what position I play. I play physical and I play uh, a very physical type of brand of basketball, so uh, nothing will change in that regard. And um, obviously, that the physicality of our team should pick up uh, with us playing smaller and that's. Uh, being uh, trying to be able to um, play with different pace, but uh, our physicality as a team has to pick up, and we'll do so.
Do you expect to guard Gordon? I expect to guard everybody on the court. That's just what I do.